This past fall, Riley Neal announced his presence with authority. 2,200 passing yards, the most by a first-year Cardinal starter since Neal Britt in 1983. So what to expect in spring bowl, number one. He worked hard in the offseason, and, and uh, he's definitely improved uh, in, in all facets of his game. And he's always been a talented guy, um, but, but he's kind of taking the next step. And, and it's not been as easy uh, this spring just because he's also been learning a little bit of a new system at times. It's a lot of install in terms of kind of like similar to fall camp, I would say, with toned down a little in terms of how many practices you have and spaced out throughout the week. But I thought it was pretty good overall. But it's not a complete reset by any means. Yeah, I definitely feel a little different. I feel like I can you know, look out in the field and kind of dec decipher what the defense is doing and where I should go with the ball a little bit better. Obviously, there's still tons and tons of room to grow, but uh, it's definitely something I feel a little better about coming into spring game and going into fall camp. And Neil's fundamentals have taken a noticeable step forward as well. We kind of changed up our footwork from last year. Uh, kind of Coach New's philosophy had they had it with the Saints and you know, maybe before that. So it, we changed our footwork up a little bit, just trying to be more quick and you know what they say is having a sense of urgency with everything we do, just kind of be having a little little something something, you know, making your feet move a little faster. He understands um, the, 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 how fast the game of football is at the college level, and, and your feet are so important to being accurate and throwing the football. Uh, so I think he's made huge strides in, in his footwork that allows him to be more accurate. Uh, he can make all the throws, but when his body's in line and his feet are right, um, it, it's really impressive. And I think he, he's bought into that and realized that the, the better timing and rhythm he's in, uh, the better football player he's going to be. Which has included some new drills, too. Yeah, it was uh, Coach Lynch QV camp. No, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, something Coach knew, and they ordered some new... Uh, Gear, those little sticks they're hitting us with. They've been waiting on those to come in, I guess, they said. So that was pretty cool, you know, moving in the pocket and avoid drills. So it's just a little twist to some of the stuff we normally do. Another twist, essentially two quarterback coaches, Coach Lynch, Coach New. Just, just his knowledge, place he's been, um, and, and it's, it's fun um, when, when you know, as a position coach, and you're communicating something, and he comes in and, and reiterates it, and is on the same page. It just, it strings, you know, sends a, a, a stronger message even to the kids. This new comes from an offensive background, clearly, from being offensive coordinators to head coach in the arena league, quarterback coach. So. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like having two quarterback coaches there. Laying the foundation for hopefully a strong 2016. Joel Godet, BallStateSports.com.